2021 Super Aeronautique G23 in a new color for 2021. Crimson Red Metal Flake. Hopefully it's showing up pretty well on video here. I'll try and get some shots at some different angles, but this is a really pretty boat. Uh, it's got a tungsten gray hull bottom, mystic white rear stripe and interior deck with that crimson main stripe. It's going to be a lot of depth in this color, especially out in the sun with these body lines. I think it's going to look really good outside. So definitely check out our on water video when we get that finished up. Um, but it's sitting on a tandem axle boatmate trailer, extended steps on the back, bow ladder up front. We've got the two tone actuated power tower, flight control tower, mystic white and tungsten gray. We've got the factory bimini strapless board racks and uh, two pairs of 880 tower speakers from JL. We've also done window tent. See our awesome new docking lights that are just below the rub rail up here in the bow. Got those off so we're not blinded when we're videoing this thing. And then a uh, lot less Chromax on the exterior in terms of um, targeting points and docking. Uh, they've simplified the, the Chromax quite a bit. So you just have that smaller piece of that in the front. I think it's nice. It's a lot less um, decal slash Chromax to get caught on a dock or a lift or whatever. So I think it's cool. Looks sharp with the, the whole scheme of the boat. Just kind of lets the, the body do the talking. But big boat. You can see very, very flat from top to bottom on this back corner of the hull instead of kind of the normal sweeping um, um, trailing edge there towards the back end. Much bigger NSS plates on the new G's. So you're coming into contact with a lot more water. But this is an entirely new haul design for 2021. So I have our surf pipe, steer assist on here, 17 inch prop, NCRS plate. But just a really cool looking boat. Let's go through, check out the rest of the features on the interior. Take off my shoes. On the back, transom seating. Much bigger than the 2020 model year. A little bit more comfortable to sit in. You still have the cooler in the step. Nice open walk through on into the interior. Whole layouts remain very, very similar. So if you've been in G's before, it's gonna feel like home um, with some with some improvements, obviously, as you would expect with the new model. Uh, our main interior color is tungsten gray. We've got crimson red seat boxing and piping. And then we have mystic white texture vinyl in here. And then we've gone for the tungsten stitching. Just classic. Mocha brown sea deck. This is going to be super easy to maintain, and it's going to look good. It's not going out of style. These are just some nice classic colors. Um, on the back, we still have our step pads, but they've extended the sea deck pad a little bit more, so you have uh, kind of a step area on the corners. The sun pad itself is actually quite a bit bigger. Um, they've narrowed up this walkway a little bit which has allowed for, actually, still have the cover box in there, let's film over here, uh, which allows for more storage on either side of the engine. So it's about six inches wider in here, so more room for boards, whatever you have in that area. We do have the uh, rope hangers still. Open up our other side. Flip open our engine. So we've got the ZZ6 in here. 450 horsepower, 6.2 liter direct injection. Uh, it is fully closed cooled for 2021. Super, super smooth, quiet motor. Um, it's been very impressive for the last shoot, five years we've had this motor available. Only difference is since its release here, pretty much that it's closed cooled. But 
Um, wrapping around in our seating here, you can see we got the uh, enhanced courtesy lighting package turned on. Let's flip open our seats. Still have communicating storage, fully C-deck line that go all the way to the back. Side inlays are a little different. You're going to see some phone holders throughout the boat. They've gone with this new um, C-deck pattern, which kind of see that design language in a couple different spots in the boat with these kind of dash designs. Uh, new JL speaker covers there. Um, on our starboard side, we used to have this lean back that kind of plugged in, and now it's a flip-up seat. So if you turn this little dial right here, that can go completely flat, so you get a little bit more seating there. So that's a nice, I think it's a nice improvement. Um, not everybody liked having that lean back there. So if you want more seating, great. If you want to lean back, great. You've got both options. Back center seat performs as it has in years past, but you do have some reversible seating there. Much bigger step pad um, coming into the boat from the walkthrough. So less likely to step on the vinyl that way. Always been a fan of that. On our port side, you're gonna see down here, we have the, ex the extended sunshade off the back, and it has these really nice holders for the poles you use for that. And then right there's our canvas for that sunshade. So that clips on to the tower, the trailing edge of the tower, and extends all the way back to the platform. So you have some really nice shade in the interior of the G if you're wanting more than what the Bimini provides. Again, actuated uh, flight control towers think folds backwards with the push of a button. Big clamping board racks. We've got the speaker covers on our 880 tower speakers. Uh, and then we have our Nautique Bimini top which folds open and has the surf pockets. Heated love seat, heated driver's seat. It's gonna have all the climate features. So you've got the heated seats, heater and air dam. Um, opening up our OB, you'll notice it's not quite as deep. You don't have that cavernous storage in here, but we have one of the batteries that is now mounted on the uh, port side of the boat for a little bit better balance. I think this storage is honestly a little bit more usable now because it's you can reach in there and grab your stuff a little bit easier without having to like climb your whole body down there. Uh, and then that added storage in the back kind of makes up for it. But this does have the Studio Elite stereo, so we've got the 12-inch sub here, all of our amps. There's a secondary 12-inch sub under the driver's side kick panel. And then with that package, we get an additional amplifier and the wavefront speakers up in the, uh, the dash behind the windshield. Glove box, we've got this really nice vinyl-wrapped lid. Super, super sturdy. And then uh, just all of our storage in here. These are actually our Fender Pros. I haven't opened those up yet, but this is equipped with the Fender Pro clips. Coming over to the dash, it's a little bit more substantial. It's just a little meatier setup, but you still have incredible visibility through our windshield. We've got this nice tall windshield. They set the screen down nice and low. Um, this is our new steering wheel, which is um, assisted steering now for 2021. Because um, they got that big rudder that they've changed on here and it gives you a little bit of help to help to maneuver the boat around uh, Phone holder still on the left Charging ports and storage on the left our touchscreen dash Super super easy to use if It's picking up my there we go steer assist Stereo all the goodies you can control it from the helm command over here by the throttle we have this really cool, I think this is awesome. You kind of have the floating armrest, which looks really sweet. Super big, there's plenty of room to put your arm. You can even, shoot, I even sit on this sometimes, but I'm a little guy, so no big deal. <clears throat> Probably not the most comfortable for some people. Uh, but you have this really cool like shelf that continues all the way back. You have phone, stor uh, phone storage slash wireless charging right here. Um, driver's seat. Has a bolster, slides, rotates, all the good stuff for adjustment. Over here is our controls for folding the tower down. Uh, one of my favorite things, we touch on this on our deep dive on this boat, but they've added this bit of bolstering on this 
love seat over here. It used to just stop here, and when you'd sit and lean back, you'd kind of like slide forward. But this kind of catches you and keeps you planted. It's just a much more comfortable seat to sit in. Um, in the floor, real quick, battery, single battery, uh, battery switch, all of our pumps, drain plug, all that's down there. And the floor is our cooler. That's what we've always had. Big mirror option on this one. And then in the bow, similar setup to what we've had before, except again, it's more square in the transom and it's more square in the nose. This thing's much, much wider through the nose of the boat, through the bow. Um, so wider seating, more storage. Flip open the seats. So I have sea deck all throughout. But just a lot of room to spread out. We're sitting in the in, in the bow nice and deep. We've got our speakers and cup holders up front as well. So cool setup. Really nice updates on the interior. Again, very similar to what we've had in the past with some nice little updates and touches that they've they've changed. Um, this is a beautiful boat. If you want to come check it out, uh, you can swing by in three boat works or give us a call for more information at 317-845-9253. Thanks for watching.